Hey Randy, how are you? Hey, thanks for uh, spending the afternoon with me today, but you know, before we go out golfing and drinking a case of beer and a bottle of vodka and falling down, hitting our head, you know, fun things like that, I just wanted to take a minute and share with you a little bit about Gerber and financial planning, wealth management, maybe some things you've heard, some things you haven't heard, but it's only just a five minute spiel, so thanks for spending time here. Anyways, I just want to start, these numbers probably don't mean anything to you, but they're really three numbers, five, forty, and five. Five represents five million. Five million dollars is what, on average, somebody's net worth gets to when they decide and raise their hand and say, hey, I need a wealth manager. Forty represents the number of years that they were going to be engaged with a wealth manager throughout their life. And five represents the number of different types of clients that a wealth manager typically has. And let me tell you about the five types of clients. And you know that we only focus on one of those. We focus on emerging entrepreneurs, uh, and that's one. Another category is family businesses, trust fund, people that inherit money, people like that. You have professionals, doctors and lawyers. Corporate execs. And to keep things simple, you have lottery winners. Probably not fair. You know, but we'll lump uh, sports and entertainment people in here. So what differentiates these five different types of clients and wealth management companies is one, how they think. Clearly their brain, they're all wired differently. You know, as an emerging entrepreneur, you probably couldn't become a very top of the class uh, doctor or lawyer, you know, you're just wired differently. And two, what also differentiates these guys is, is how you earn money over your life. Um, you know, an entrepreneur typically starts at the bottom and has rough times and good times, but overall trends up, ending with an event, something like that. Whereas typically a family business would start at a higher level and depending on the person, uh, would have some ups and downs. So that's what differentiates different types of clients, their thinking, how they earn money. But they all make the same, they go through the same process on how they choose uh, which wealth manager they're going to use. First what they do is they're looking for somebody they trust. Or really, what they're looking for is somebody who not going to rip them off. Second, they look for a specialist that understands their unique uh, situation and needs. And they just look for results. Okay, so we've got five different types of uh, clients that, are, that require wealth management. They're different on how they think, how they earn money. They go about choosing a professional based upon trust, uh, a, someone who specializes in uh, their unique situation and results. Okay. Well, all of this is true except for this. Typically, people choose a wealth manager based upon who they trust and who they believe is going to give them results, whatever that means to them. And why do they do that? Really, they do that for the same reason that you don't go see a heart specialist every day. You don't go see a heart surgeon. You don't go see a heart surgeon until you have a heart attack. So essentially, no symptom, no problem, no specialist. So here we 
are today. Columbus, Ohio. Beautiful sunny day, although even beautiful sunny days typically clouds here and there and they're moving through. But one thing's constant is our clients are hard workers. And they go off to work every day. And they work hard. <coughs> This guy understands what's going on in his business and he's working day to day. And typically, things that he can see, things that happen in his life that cause him to require a specialist related to money management are transactions. Which means he may sell his business, he may merge his business, he may uh, sell out his partner, something like that. This is in his everyday world. What's not on his mind every day are other things that are also happening, especially as his income increases. And those things are related to, one, his family, both with his parents and his kids, to his consumption, lifestyle, and three, as he gets further along in his career, he starts to realize that it's possible for his dreams to actually come true. But day to day, these are not driving his decisions. These are not on his mind. He doesn't have a symptom or a problem. He has them, but he just doesn't have visible symptoms or problems. And actually, in the world of an entrepreneur, we don't call them problems, we call them opportunities. They're just not visible to him every day. And it takes a meeting like this, or a vacation in Greece, where you kick back, your wife, You look up. <clears throat> and you're sitting on the beach, and you got the time, and the clouds part. And if you spent your life with this, your problems would be visible all the time. And these would become obvious to you, not just the day-to-day -day business transactions that you need. But just because you don't get a chance to be in this position every day of your life, these opportunities are unique to emerging entrepreneur. And they're different for a family business person or professional or corporate executives. And we would say that the results that you get from a wealth manager, besides in addition to your return, are how they help guide you through 40 years of issues like this. And we just caution people to say, sometimes it's what you don't know, that it's what you know you don't know, or what you know, don't know that you know, that are gonna get you later in life. But we can say with certainty, a successful entrepreneur is gonna have needs in these areas. And we believe that without specializing with, a, with one type of these clients, that you're really not gonna be able to serve everyone very well. It's very simple, and that's what I told you before, why we focus on emerging entrepreneurs. I don't know if this gives more clarity to it, but thank you for your time.